welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and I am a yoga teacher, a nutrition coach, and also I work at a farm animal sanctuary. So today I just wanted to make a quick little video to talk about electrolytes a little bit and also I wanted to show you how you can make your own electrolyte drinks at home instead of having to buy all those little plastic um, packages of hydration salts and sports drinks. You can save on a lot of plastic this way and you can also save a lot of money this way. So it's not completely zero waste but it's definitely a lot better than if you were buying sports drinks or those little noon tablets all the time. So basically I should probably explain what an electrolyte is first. So electrolytes are what plants crave. No. I'm just kidding. That was an idiocracy reference if you've ever seen that movie. So um, basically, electrolytes are compounds that regulate the inflow and outflow of cells. So today we're talking specifically about mineral electrolytes because those are what help regulate our fluid balance and shoot signals across nerve cells and also help us contract and relax our muscles. So, why would you need an electrolyte drink of your own? Well, you might not. You might be getting enough from the foods you eat, but if you sweat as much as I do, I teach hot yoga and I work outside in the summer, like I said, at a farm animal sanctuary. So I'm sweating quite a lot. And if you aren't replacing all the electrolytes that you're losing through your sweat, doesn't matter how much water you drink, you're not going to become hydrated and you're also probably going to have a lot of muscle cramping. So nobody wants that, right? So I'm gonna show you how you can just make your own electrolyte drink super cheap at home and all you're gonna need is either some sea salt or pink Himalayan salt, some calm magnesium and calcium powder and then stuff to flavor your water with if you want. I always like to do that. Today I'm just going to be using some mixed frozen fruit and half a lime. So super easy. I'm going to mix it right in my hydro flask because I'm about to go teach a yoga class. So basically you only need, this is a 40 ounce hydro flask. Um, I never, I usually never measure anything when I'm doing this on my own. I think as long as you're not doing a crazy amount of the magnesium calcium powder, you're probably okay. So I definitely always usually do less than an actual serving because I might drink a, a couple of these bottles with the, um, with the powder in one day, just depending on how active I am. So it says on this container that three teaspoons is a serving. Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. I have my tablespoon right here. I'm almost out, so I will do this probably a little bit less than a tablespoon into my bottle. And then all you're going to need is a pinch of sea salt or pink salt. It's not going to end up being that salty, I promise, because this is a lot of water, very little salt. And then I really like to use frozen fruit because it adds a little bit of sweetness. And then also when you finish your water, you can eat the fruit at the bottom, which is really nice. <laughs> and you're like working at a farm for hours and you're tired. And then also, I'm just gonna squeeze half of a lime in here. You can also, sometimes I do lemon, sometimes I do some cucumber slices. You can do, Whatever you want to flavor your water with, this is just because I like the way it tastes. And then you just fill it up with water. I also like to add ice. Some people are very anti-cold water. I'm not one of those people. But again, you can do it however you want. And that way, um, you hydrate much better. You feel better working in the heat and you're saving a whole lot of money. So, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, bye.